Hello, good people, once again. New maps for March 2025 for the United States. Right there. Available now for download at sat103.com. If you would like United States maps for free, go there and download it. Easy enough. And what we are looking at here is a Garmin Drive 40. Yes, the one from the UK. The one that never had United States maps on it. Except for mine, of course. Uh, interesting thing about this Drive 40, although I don't use it in the car, I find I use this often in my home office for testing things. For things that I do with Garmin devices. Uh, this thing is snappy and quick. It's just great. <laughs> just, the thing is just great. And the battery is really good in it. So although I have not used it for actual on-the-road use, uh, although it would totally work for that, uh, here in the home office, yeah, works, works great. Here at the SAT-103 Stronghold, this gets a lot of use when I'm testing my maps and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to talk about uh, custom POIs for a bit, for a bit concerning searching them and before I get into that if you do not have this icon it will not show up unless you have custom POIs installed to your device I have made several videos on this so if you want to know how to make custom POIs just search my previous videos and you will find them not a problem to add this icon let's just say you do have custom POIs on your device and you want this icon well, on the drive series on, like this, you would go down to add shortcut, and then it would be somewhere in here. It's not showing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's grayed out because it is already there. But there we go. That's where it would be. Or if you don't want to put the icon there, you go to categories, and it's near the bottom, and it's right there. That is how you do that. Ordinarily, to uh, actually, way I should say a few things about older models, just in case you're using one of those, and newer ones too. For older models like the new V40 and 50, uh, it would be from where to and then down one screen, and you will see an icon called Extras. And that is where your custom POIs would be once after you install them. On newer guys like the DriveSmart 66 and 76, it's similar to how the drive does it, where you would scroll down, you would go from where to scroll down and add a shortcut and you'll see custom POIs there. Also, you would also have where to and categories. If you don't see categories, it is on one of your screens there. And then you can select custom POIs from there. That's how you do that. Now then, for searching custom POIs, ordinarily one would think, and this is correct, that you go to custom POIs and then just pick a category and search or do all categories and search. That is an option. But there's another way to do it too. It's just where to and then just a general search. And it will find it. It may take a second to search your custom POIs depending on how many you have but it will find it. I'll give you an example. I have a Comp USA location in my custom POIs. You remember Comp USA? Well if you don't it used to be a computer store. It's been out of business for years but I still have it in my custom POIs and of course it found it. This is not an open street map nor is it in Google Maps because like I said it's been closed for years but I have it in my custom POIs, so it found it. Nice. This address, by the way, if you were to look it up now, that is uh, a Rivian dealership now in Tampa. So, uh, used to be a Comp USA, then it was a Tiger Direct, now it's a Rivian <laughs> dealership. So if you, uh, you want to get yourself one of those Rivian EVs, well, in Tampa, you would go to 701 Northdale Mabry, and uh, sign your life away and spend a bunch of money on one of those if you want. I won't. I already got a car. So that's how to do that. And yeah, 
the again the way to do it is just general search and it will find it now the only time that you could run into a problem with this is if you have a name of a POI in your custom POI database that matches a whole bunch of others so for example if you have one just called 7-eleven well there's hundreds thousands the 7-elevens in the United States so of course it's not going to show yours first what you would have to do is just rename it to something else uh, like for example if I just that location uh, I'll save it as a favorite okay add to save places there it is you would have to rename it to something like just add a word and it would find it like that and then what you could do is that you could search your save locations and just you know right and it would find it nearly instantaneously that's how to get around that part but if you're like well I don't want to take the extra step I don't want to save it to my save place I don't want to do that when you are initially creating your custom uh, excuse me custom POI database just remember to have the name as something that would not match another general search and that's pretty much they're all yeah huh, if I could talk today that's pretty much all there is to it ha there we go so again maps available for the United States from sat103.com if you want them totally free get them <laughs>